Indonesia's most popular chain of nightlife establishments offered free drinks for men named Muhammad and women named Maria. I, like many others, thought that there was no way this was real, even if Holy Wings is known to be edgy with their marketing. But this was no meme. For some context, Muhammad is the last holy prophet in Islam, while Maria is another name for the Mother Mary, who is an important figure in both Islam and Christianity. In a Muslim-majority and deeply religious country like Indonesia, even the slightest insult to religion just doesn't fly. And not to mention the fact that alcohol is haram or forbidden for consumption in Islam. Not even a week later, Jakarta shut 12 Holy Wings bars and clubs in the capital amid pressure from conservative groups. Other regions soon followed suit, meaning all 36 Holy Wings outlets were shuttered as a result of the blasphemy scandal. Few clues remain that these venues were once Holy Wings, as they were stripped of all recognizable features, like the iconic logo. Six employees deemed responsible for the promo have been arrested on blasphemy and online hate speech charges, which could see them in prison for up to 10 years. The higher-ups at Holy Wings have been accused of washing their hands clean and have so far escaped criminal charges. In Jakarta, Holy Wings has given assurances to the city council that it is able to pay the June salaries of all the employees in the capital who had been furloughed after the shutdown. From July onwards, they're not quite sure, especially with the fate of the outlet still in the air. There is hope in the capital, with the vice governor saying that Holy Wings may reopen as long as they obtain all the appropriate permits. For now, the party is over at Holy Wings. Coconuts TV.